Welcome to Southern Gospel Now, your weekly look inside the Southern Gospel music industry. This is episode 96. I'm Greg Goodman, your host. Southern Gospel Now is made possible by southerngospelprizes.com. Currently, you can register to win the new project Hymns and Worship from Triumph and Quartet. Southern Gospel Prizes for Southern Gospel fans. southerngospelprizes.com. We begin this week with great news from the Lore family. Faith Lore Wisnett tells us about her pregnancy journey. I want to let you know that last year, on August the 30th, we miscarried our first baby. I never got to see that child on an ultrasound, but I believe that life is life and that that was a child that we lost. We were on the road and it was a very difficult thing to go through, but I'm thankful for God's grace. And it truly amazed me this year when we went in for our first appointment and they let us know that our due date for this baby was August the 31st. So I believe that God has redeemed our time. He has truly brought our story full circle. And all I can say that is that God has been faithful to me, that God is good. And I want to let you know that if you have gone through the pain of infertility and the grief of miscarriage, the sorrow that uh, accompanies that, I want you to know that my heart goes out to you. And I have a quote in my room that from Job 5, 9, it says, He performs wonders that cannot be fathomed, miracles that cannot be counted. God loves you. He cares about you. He sees you. And no matter what, friend, he is still good. We're so happy for Faith and Jake. Here's an update on Operation Sing Again. The Hymn Sing Foundation has made progress on Phase 2. After getting the Hymn Sing DVDs and CDs into all the nursing homes across the country, they now are working on getting them in 2,100 hospice facilities across the U.S. Such amazing work. The oldest member of three Heath brothers, Nicholas Heath, is on a mission trip to Africa. My wife and I are headed to Africa on a missions trip. Uh, we're actually in the airport right now. And we will be encouraging missionaries there, bringing down supplies, and also doing some children's programs in a few of the villages. We'll be there for almost two weeks. And you know, as Christians, we have been given the greatest gift in the world through Jesus Christ. And it is so important for us to reach out and as much as we can to introduce people to Jesus. The Lefebvre Quartet may have ended full-time touring, but Mike Lefebvre says his time touring in the group was very special to him. I'm thankful for the time that I've got to spend with my son on the road, that it's been priceless. I couldn't think of a better partner and singing partner than uh, Jordan. He is my right arm for many, many years now. No doubt we see lots of darkness in the world. Adam Crabb reminds us we always need to be looking for opportunities to share the light. When God opens a door, you walk through it and you allow him to use you to shine that light that's inside of your cracks. Um, my brother preached that one time. He said, we all have cracks and broken areas in our lives. If we were perfect, the light couldn't shine through. And I loved, loved when you said that, Aaron. I saw you were on here. Listen. God's got us in those places to be a light to these dark, dark people that need Jesus more than a church does. More than a church does. We've got to be in there and be the light and be the example. The latest song from Tim Menzies is On My Father's Side. Tim shares that without the intervention of Jesus, we would be enemies of God. As we know from Hebrews, the sacrifice of animals only atone for sins from this moment backward. They didn't atone for the sin of the next minute or tomorrow. So that needed a Lamb of God. That needed God, His Son. He had to come, and I would say He had to because if there was have been a better plan, they would have come up with it. <laughs> and so He had to come in order for us to be on our Father's side at some point because the Scripture tells us that in our fallen nature, we are enemies of God. Brian Free and Assurance are serious about ministry, but the group can still cut up. Brian Free here talking about the guy's different haircuts. Well, I say every night from stage, we got you covered on hairstyles. We have flat top, no top, and high top. <laughs> 
for those of you on radio who can't figure out who No Top is, just do the math. Oh, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> the current hit single for Legacy 5 is Testify. Matt Fouch talks about popcorn testimonies. You know, I grew up in a church where there was uh, folks that would stand up and give testimony. They would testify of the goodness of God in their lives. They would testify with their praise reports. They would even testify to give God praise even when they were maybe in a struggle. And it was always cool. We would sometimes even do these, they would call them popcorn testimonies. And what they would do is just, they would want a time during the service where just one right after another, someone could would stand up and testify, give a testimony to, to how good God has been to them. And those are great memories as a kid. The latest song from The Guardian it's come on in medley. John Duran Rousey said the songs put together in this anthem take him back to his childhood. Come on in is the first track of the project, the title track, and we put together a medley of some songs that um, I grew up with. They're actually old spirituals, and I loved these songs from as early as I can remember, and I thought, what a great way to invite people in a service or on the project to come in and just enjoy the presence of the Lord. The new song from Jim and Melissa Brady is Great God of My Joy. Jim says he hopes it helps listeners. More than ever, I find myself going to a song that will encourage me and help me get through the day. And so that is what I'm hoping this will do for the listener. Taking a look at the Power 50 weekly chart, Brian Free and Assurance are back on the top of the chart this week with Liar Liar. Well, that's it for this week. If you missed episodes of Southern Gospel Now, you can catch up wherever you find podcasts or listen at southerngospelnow.com. Southern Gospel Now is brought to you by SouthernGospelPrizes.com, where currently you can register to win new music from Triumphant Quartet. I'm Greg Goodman. Thanks for listening. Love your neighbor. And I'll see you next week for another edition of Southern Gospel Now.